Good morning class. In today's GK class, we will be doing page number 40 and the topic is Subrake. Now, what are Subrakes? Some countries and cities have special names or phrases that describe the character of someone or something. That means, children, that every city or maybe few cities and few countries, they are famous for certain things and those famous character or maybe famous uh, architect, something that they are famous for that makes them or gives them some new name or some special name or phrase, right? And those special names or phrases are called subrakes. It is not true for all the countries or all the cities, but few of them have subrakes. Like in India, if we talk about, then Jaipur is known as the pink city. Why? Because the there are so many forts and all the forts were painted in pink. So, it's the pink city. Then the city of Taj. It is Agra because Agra is famous for its Taj Mahal. Right. So, in the world also there are few countries and they have some special names that describe the things or the famous things or famous people over there. So, let's start. Now, the first one is the gift of Nile. And the answer is, which country or city is known as the gift of Nile? It's Egypt. Usually, Egypt is a desert region and it has only one source of water, that is Nile. A Greek historian, Herodotus gave the name of the region as the gift of river Nile. Because of the dependence on the river for survival, bringing prosperity in the region. Children, we already know that Egypt is a desert. Usually, it's a desert region. And in the picture also, you can see that behind water, there are hills. And they are the hills of sands. So, there is just one river over there. And that and all the people... In Egypt, they are dependent on that water, that river for their survival. So, that river is known as the gift of Nile. It is like a gift to the people over there because Egypt is a land of desert. So, the answer is the gift of Nile is Egypt. Then coming to the land of the rainbow. Now, Hawaii is known as the land of rainbow. Why Hawaii is called the land of rainbow? Due to the remoteness of the Hawaiian islands, the air is exceptionally clean and free of pollution. Continental dust and pollen contributing to the numerous bright rainbows with the full spectrum of colors. Now, children, this Hawaii is basically an island that means they are the pieces of land surrounded by water so here the air the land everything is very clean you can say like it's a pollution free zone and whenever there is rain and due to so clear weather so clear air so clean air People can, every now and then, they can see the rainbows. That's why this island is known as the land of rainbow. So, the land of rainbow is Hawaii. Then, the land of white elephants. Thailand is known as the land of white elephants. Now, white elephants are very rare. Generally, what we see is grey elephants. Or black color elephants, na? grayish black. But these white 
elephants are found in Thailand and it is called the land of white elephants because the royal families of Thailand they possess several white elephants possess means they have diff many or you can say several white elephants that's why that land that of white elephants is Thailand because in Thailand there are royal families royal families means very rich high class families and they are having white elephants as their pets right then the land of thunderbolt the answer is bhutan you know what is thunderbolts thunderbolts are like where there are lot of thunderstorms lot of heavy rains are there so that is thunderbolt lightning thundering thundering is what badloka garajna so in bhutan generally what happens like bhutan is near to the himalayas and due to which every now and then the rainfall thundering lightning it's very common in bhutan so bhutan is known as the land of thunderbolt Bhutan is recognized as a land of thunderbolt due to the extreme and large thunderstorms which wash via the valley from the Himalayas that means it's closer to Himalayas and due to which the rains and thundering is quite common that's why the land is known as the land of thunderbolt so the land of thunderbolt is a sobriquet that is used for Bhutan Next is the land of lakes. Now land of thousand lakes the answer is Finland. The forested landscape. Now Finland is the forested landscape. Forested landscape means it is having lot of forest. It's full of forest. But is dotted with patches of water. That means but between those forest there are several dots or there are several small small lakes so numerous they have earned finland the nickname the land of thousand lakes and in fact if we talk about lakes in finland then these many lakes are there in finland that is 188000 lakes are there in finland so that's why it's known as the lake of thousand the land of thousand lakes now some lakes may be small some may be big but there are numerous lakes means it's a forest area you can say it's full of greenery and among those green land there are several patches of water and they are making lakes there's those patches of water appears to be like lakes and that's why it's known as the land of thousand lakes next is the sugar bowl of the world that's cuba the country of cuba traces its roots in the production of sugar under the spanish rule it has the largest sugar industry in the world for which it is known as the sugar bowl of the world now it means that in cuba from early times only that is when spanish people used to rule cuba at that time only from that time the production of sugar and the growth of sugar cane both is done in abundance because over there the sugar cane is grown and due to which and sugar is made from sugar cane and that's why cuba is having the large industries in fact the largest sugar industries in the world so it is known as the sugar bowl of the world next is the city of joy 
Now, what is the city of joy? The city of joy is in India, that is Kolkata. The city has earned the nickname City of Joy for its soulful embodiments of culture, love, mystery, respect, enthusiasm and definitely some amazing sweet delicacies. Now in picture also you can see a lot of things are there to see and visit and enjoy in Kolkata. Kolkata is famous for its culture love there is lot of means people respect each other think people are full of enthusiasm and of course people from kolkata they love sweets and lot of sweets are made in kolkata like sandesh and all and they are or mishti dahi rasgulla they all are famous of kolkata so in fact you can say that in kolkata the ancient culture and the modern culture is found that's why it's known as the city of joy so in case you ever get chance to visit kolkata you will enjoy your visit because there are a lot of places to visit and lot of places to see next is the land of cakes now everybody loves to eat cakes many of us even bake cakes at home and children do you know that there is a country which is famous for cakes and that country is scotland now why that country is known as the land of cakes because in olden days what happened was oatmeal cakes was the reason behind naming scotland as the land of cakes the staple crop of scotland is oats oat cake a form of bread which are homemade are known as bannocks this bannocks made scotland to be referred to as land of cakes so in simple terms it is that in scotland their main crop like in india we have wheat we have barley in the same way in scotland it's oats so people used to make oat cakes or oat breads at home and it was very common that means every house almost every house used to do that that's why it's known as the land of cakes now children coming to the next one emerald isle ireland is known as the emerald isle because it's very green it's green because it rains a lot it's warm and wet in the summer and cold and wet in the winter it's the third largest island in europe now basically children emerald is a green colored stone and in ireland if we talk about the weather over there then in summers it's generally warm and wet that means it's raining in winters also it's cold and wet so in winters also it's raining so in a way throughout the year there are lot of rains and wherever there will be rains there will be greenery so the entire place of ireland looks very green and it appears to be like an emerald stone so it is known as emerald isle now next is the city of seven hills now rome is known as the city of seven hills because children it is believed that this city of rome was built on seven hills in ancient time when the rome was built at that time there were seven hills or maybe the place was surrounded by seven hills so it is today known as the city of seven hills right then these are the answers of the questions that are given on page number 
सो आई होप द चैप्टर इज क्लियर टू यू थैंक यू